Good morning. Can you believe it's time for the new Shapers Yarn Bookazine again? This one is called Tea Room. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I have seen this before. However, my caveat is that I only saw the Dutch version in a meeting and went through it very quickly. But I'm going to take you through it page by page now. So, this is Tea Room from Shapers, the new Bookazine. So, we open up. Introduction from Simi. Oh, all about cups of tea. Mm, that's written to, written to appeal to me. Oh, English tea. There you go. So let's see what's in the tea room. Put the kettle on. Uh, join us as we embark on a journey through our favourite flavours of tea. Oh, okay. So that'll be nice. So match your tea first. Oh, man rocking a man bun. Can't beat a bit of man bun. What is the leaves scarf by Jelena Veerhoff? Um, in stone washed, I do love stone washed. What a pretty pattern that is there as well. Now let's see, Chase and Beanie by Amanda Beaumont in stone washed, stone washed XL this time. A nice beanie hat that's got pretty. It's got nice cables down it. Love that centre bit there as well. So the Soul Storm blanket from Martin up north. This is in Callista. Now I'll let you into a little secret because we actually have this blanket in our shop at the moment. Um, we're taking it to Yarndale and it's super heavy. It feels gorgeous. And I love that in our tribe as well. That's a crocheted sweater and you don't see, I think that's possibly the first male garment I've seen in crochet. That's by Susan Walsh, the Nishio sweater. That is gorgeous. Um, oh, saffron and ginger. What's there? Oh, ginger root gloves. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? They're in the metropolis. Look at the fair on them. They're really, really pretty. And then the Honey Poncho. Oh, by Tatiana. Oh, we love Tatiana. We have our own Tatiana store here. So that's in Merino Soft Brush. Uh, Whirl Ombre. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that beading there. Seen loads of beading around the moment. That's the Saffron Wrap. Um, that is really pretty. Spice Market Snood by Narissa. Uh, and I can't say Narissa's surname, so apologies. That's in Namaste. Now, I've not used Namaste yet. Yeah, but doesn't it look nice? That bit, those big bobbles on it look really, really pretty. Um, then, oh, miniature paintings. A, a article here about a cup of art. Ah, there are always some really, really. In, oh, and an article about embroidery as well. Oh, those are good. Look at those little embroidered things and pucker tea bags. Ten tea rooms. I wonder if there's anything. Oh, Betty's. I've been there. Where else is there? Sketch in London. I've been there as well. Um, now, English tea. What are we going to have for English tea? Blooming Tea Cozy. <gasps> Look at that in Katona. Now, that is what a gorgeous, gorgeous coloured tea cozy. And a really modern looking tea cozy as well. Petal and Leaves Shawl in a whirly gig, which was the one that I was wearing. Now, that is really pretty. I love those colours. That's my sort of colour as well. Earl Grey Socks in Metropolis. <gasps> They're pretty. Oh, and that's in our tribe. Now that's nice. That's one of the uh, one of the plain um, colours of our tribe. Crochet masquerading as knitting. So again, another crocheted sweater. Upcycling, Siamese challenge. Ooh. Oolong. What's this? Uh, I can't say that properly. That's oh, that's a nice. That's in Namaste. That's a really pretty crocheted sweater. Oh, very pretty. Sorry, I keep stopping here reading. I shouldn't. I need to keep going on. I do like that. Oh, Amy, I actually really, really like that. Yeah, Amy's behind the camera, so I am talking to her as well. The Oolong Blanket in Stone Washed. Oh, that's pretty colour. Unusual use of colours there with the purple and mustard, but really nice again. Jasmine Poncho, and that comes with a separate cow. That's in Metropolis again. Lots of Metropolis on this. If you haven't tried Metropolis, it's gorgeous. Uh, Orchard Blossom Headband. Uh, just a really quick, easy. You'd make that in a night. Oh, and then we go to talk about the crochet along the Rosetta Cow, which is just beautiful if you've not seen that. Um, Maria McPherson, some influence. She does 50 Shades of Four Ply blog. If you've not looked at that, that is a great blog. Oh, and I do like these, the Namaste train case. And then we go through to all the patterns, all at the back. Uh, Shapey's patterns are beautifully written. Uh, a little note section, some a positivity. And then I like this that they always do at the back as well. They give you all the abbreviation. They give you this to put all your yarn on as well. That's your scrapbook page. And that's the back cover. So that's the new book as in. Hello, it's me again. And I forgot to tell you what I was wearing. This is the Valkyrie Shawl, which is a whirly gig, um, which is a shapers after party. Now, 
I've specifically been told I'm allowed. I'm not allowed to tell you I made this. I didn't make this. Sally crocheted this. Who it works here in the craft bar. It feels so gorgeous. So it is the Valkyrie shawl in a whirly gig. <laughs>